Welcome ladies and gentlemen back to the 3L channel. If you're new here, just jumping on board for the very first time. My name is Chad. Welcome. Kick your feet up, relax, enjoy yourself this weekend. As most of you know, we're winding down our BG's Marathon weekend. This time, folks, as you saw in the title, we have Mr. Robin Gibb on one of his solo albums from 1985, Walls Have Eyes. Stick around. As one of his solo endeavors, Walls Have Eyes is the fourth solo album released by singer Robin Gibb. Released in November of 1985 on EMI America Records in the U.S. and Polydor throughout the rest of the world. Produced by Morris Gibb, his fraternal twin brother, and Tom Dowd. The two singles from the album, Like a Fool and Toys, did not chart in the U.S. and the U.K., Gibb did not release a solo album in 18 years until 2003 with Magnet. Another album I need to dive more deeply into. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, unlike Secret Agent, which contains dance numbers, this album contains mostly ballads. Okay, without further ado, we're going to jump right in and see what Gone with the Wind is all about. Let's go. I never knew until tonight. Of the danger that any man could lose his life to a stranger. Catch me when I am falling. I've been burned by the fire before. Oh, girl, I tell you. 
I could put that on repeat <laughs> over and over and over again. As if the vocals weren't mesmerizing enough, the instrumentation of this, the melody, the percussion, the guitar solo, all those elements, just, it's, it's so captivating. The melody itself is, and the build up, you know, and then the backup vocals. You know, I, I, w I had to go back to Wiki to find out it, it was just saying that it was the B-side and it was written by Morris and Robin. But I looked all through that. I couldn't find if it was actually his brothers assisting on backup because it kind of sounded like him, but it also kind of sounded like they layered Robin's vocals and used that as backup for the song. You guys help me out in the comment section, but man, <laughs> very captivating. Like I said, I could just play that over and over again. Beautiful song, great request. Kevin Dobson, man, what's going on, brother? <laughs> no, I didn't get your email. Check, make sure that you got all the letters correct. Been responding to your comments as well. I don't know if you've been getting them. You mentioned something about where did I get my intro music from? Uh, Epidemic Sound where content creators go and get their uh, royalty-free background music to play in their videos. You don't have to worry about copyright issues or anything like that. For a monthly fee, I get to choose, I get to download any type of background music without having to worry about any of that. But anyway, I think that's one of your questions that you wanted to know about where I got my intro music from. That's where Epidemic Sound, there is actually a link in the description for those of you that are interested. Maybe you wanted to become a content creator, a YouTuber, I don't know. Maybe some, some of you younger viewers that are subscribed to my channel. Uh, if so, I have an affiliate link uh, for Epidemic Sound. If that's something you're interested in, you just put that referral link in, you get a discount on your monthly fee. Thanks so much, folks, for this request. Thought I'd finish it off with uh, Robin's vocals. Put him in this weekend as well for you Robin fans out there. Just so much material. Uh, I had a comment from one of my subscribers talking about if you run out of material. And I just, I, I think I took a whole minute just busting out laughing on that. You guys are comedians, I swear. Anyway, thanks again, folks. Until next time, take care.